In this training today, I'm going to show you how you can access the Unfranchised Marketing Desktop app and start using the Shop Live feature. Go to unfranchisedmarketing.com and log in with your back office credentials. In your desktop, you will have a live stream section where you can promote your Shop Live link through social media, text message, or any other avenue you would like to use to promote your upcoming Shop Live events. You will have a Go Live button in the top right corner. This is how you will initiate your live stream. All you have to do is click Go Live to get started. The first time you go live, you will have to give Shop Live access to your camera and your microphone. First, I'm going to go through the bottom toolbar and explain each of these features to you. The first one is the chat feature. This is where you're going to see who joined your Shop Live event, what buttons they're clicking on, and any questions they have. I'd come back to the chat once or twice through your Shop Live presentation and make sure there aren't any questions that you missed. You can also come into the attendee section and see what attendees are on your event. Next, you have your share feature. This share feature allows you to quickly copy and paste the link to your Shop Live event to share with your customers and your prospects. If you are a unfranchised owner leader and you want the other unfranchised owners on your team to promote your event, make sure they share the Shop Live asset through the app, not this link here, in order for them to get the appropriate credit for any purchases or sales that their prospects and customers do on your event. Next, we have the share screen feature. This is going to allow you to either share your screen, share a specific application, or even share a specific Chrome tab. We do have some helpful hints here if the share screen feature does not work the first time you try. Next, we have the interactive button panel. I'll come back to this in a minute. You also have microphone settings. You can either unmute and mute your microphone and switch to an external microphone if needed. You can also turn on and off your camera and switch to an external camera if you'd like. One instance where switching to an external camera may be helpful is if you have your spouse or a coworker who can manage the chat for you while you're hosting the presentation. You can switch by pressing this caret button and selecting which camera you want. You can use a webcam while they manage the chat. And lastly, you have the full screen feature. So now I'm gonna show you how to use the interactive buttons. So one of the unique advantages of Shop Live is that you can add retail links right on your screen during your presentations that your customers can click and purchase. The most important type of interactive button for you, the unfranchised owners, is going to be the Shop feature. This will pull in all of the links from your replicated site with your distributor ID attached and give you the appropriate credit for the sales. So I'm going to show an example of pulling in a shop.com product. All you have to do is click on a product that you want to add to your screen and hit publish. So I'm gonna show you how to do that again. You click the shop button type, come into whichever brand you'd like to promote. You also have filters here by brand and category if that will help you find the products you're looking for. So I'm going to select the beauty category and add the ultimate aloe gel. 
All you have to do is select the product and hit publish. If you want to adjust the size or location of a button, all you have to do is click on it to the blue lines appear and you can adjust the size and location. Once you've added these buttons to your screen, your customers can now click these buttons and the product links will open on their end so they can review the product and purchase while still watching your presentation. Any of the bu buttons that you've added will stay in this added section from one event to the next. And if you want to enhance your presentation, you can simply toggle these on and off as you're presenting about the products or as you're finished talking about a specific product category to keep your, clean, your screen clear while presenting. I'm also going to show you a different button, button type. The social media button type is a great way to include your Facebook. So all you have to do is title the button, put in your URL, and then you can change the style if you'd like. Maybe you want to add your photo to make it a little bit more personal, or you want to add text that says, follow me. You can also change the design of this button by making it more transparent if you'd like, or putting rings around it to draw your customer's attention to that specific button. And all you have to do is hit add for it to get saved to your shop live event. All of your buttons will get saved in your added section and these will remain from session to session. So now I've walked you through the basics of how to go live with your shop live tool.